Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Nogwazi Ndombela, also known as Kwazi Bear on all social media platforms. Do subscribe, be a part of this family. And if you're returning, Sabi, welcome back, darling. Guys, we're on day, what, 14 of the $1,000 challenge. And um, today I'm doing something a little different. It's been requested in my comment section in my previous videos where people want to know who are the youtubers that i watch and the reason why i actually watch those youtubers and it made me realize what he has seen i don't watch a lot of american youtubers i watch a lot of south african youtubers guys it's crazy but i do have a few youtubers which um who are not from south africa that i have included in the list the list is in no particular order so these are just some of the people i enjoy watching and the reason why i watch them and i'm bad like the barbie i'm a dog but i still want to party being felt like i'm ready to bend i'm a 10 so i pull in a can like Debbie. guys before we get into the video i am i just wanted to share with you guys that i really want to buy a camera i really want to buy a camera for this channel reason being i'm really struggling with space on my phone okay um and the other camera that i have the quality is not the best so i really want to give like the best kind of quality for my videos and stuff so with that being said i need you guys' assistance um if you can please super thanks down below um so that we're able to raise money to buy a camera for the channel so that our quality will pop 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 okay anyway let us get right into the video i've got my notebook here where i've written and um the names of the people that i watch and yeah so let's get into this video okay so as i said these are in no particular order the first person that i'm going to mention is Oli Kavashi, popularly known as miss xo i absolutely love Ukel. Ukeli, the reason why I watch her channel is because she's so authentic. She's so true to herself. She shares basically easy, don't she? Is Ningi. And yeah, and she constantly has like interesting content. I love how um she has a content whereby she's going out. Um, she used to do a lot of lunches and stuff. Yes, she has changed her content quite a bit now, but I still really like her content. And Amadaba Ningi, they say just because now um she's christian and she's on this journey where she's um growing her relationship with god that she's no longer relatable i feel she's even more relatable now personally um so i absolutely love her content like she will speak her mind if you don't agree with what she says then let it be that and she shares a lot of things she doesn't gatekeep i love that about her um yeah so that is the reason why i watch miss exo she's very authentic i love what she is herself i love that she constantly has um content for us and also another thing is that she posts e content like immediately not really immediately but like gingantin she's always on the ball man on youtube she's always on the ball almost exo won't let you wait for months and months and months for content in domains they magic she's posting it within a few days yeah but so you feel like you're up to date with her life i absolutely love her so she is my first youtuber that i love the next youtuber i'm going to talk about is k yarm starling guys if you don't watch K Yams's vlogs, I don't know. K Yams, I watch her just for her vlogs. Well, she that's all she does. Well, that's all she does, but that's what I love about K Yams. Her vlogs are so therapeutic. They are so well put together. Even if even if it's not like plan, 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 but Jama vlogs like is so calming. I absolutely love her vlogs they give you a sense of calm they give you a sense of relaxation um yeah. so i really really enjoy her vlogs she's also very authentic i love that um she also shares her relationship with god and the conversations that she has with god and and the things that she i remember um this one time when she shared her journey of buying a car and she couldn't buy the car a year before that you feel like 
you're actually part of this person's life because here we are unable to buy a car and now we're able to buy a car yeah, you understand Leon? i just love her content she's authentic the quality of her videos is top tier absolutely love her the next person i'm gonna go into <clears throat> is not a south african youtuber her name is brawny i'm gonna put all their names on the screen somewhere and i absolutely love her fashion sense guys one thing about me i will watch try on hauls i will watch styling videos and she's just one of the youtubers that i really really enjoy watching particularly because she has quite a lot of videos of try on styling and all that so i absolutely love her content so i just watch her content for her sense of style um i really really do enjoy ama hauls so regardless as long as you're trying on clothes and you're not like overly speaking on your videos i absolutely enjoy that so that's why i watch brani and i enjoy her content the next youtuber i'm gonna mention is my ultimate fave naledi m now on lady i started watching her because of her story times i was so invested in all of her story times to be quite honest um so i really watched her content for the story times yes she does post a few vlogs here and there and i love that she's very um like Urelex, Tunalet, Urelex, D. She's a very bubbly person. I love her personality. I've got to meet her once um, at some events. She's a very, very lovely person. And Ia Kombisa through her videos, Liu Dole, like her personality shows in her videos. So I thoroughly enjoy her story times. Um, and also the, the, the videos of the. Um, Martine, I'm a housewives. I'm a reality shows when she does like um, a breakdown of the reality shows. I really, really enjoy that. I don't think there's anyone that does Loma breakdown quite like she does. Um, so I really enjoy that content from her. So Jake, from Una Lady, I'm a story times I can no, no, I'm a breakdown lower of I'm a reality shows top tier. And I also used to enjoy her um, like mukbangs when she used to do like I'm a confession section confe confession sessions and she does like a mukbang i really really enjoy those kind of videos as well the next youtuber i'm gonna mention is karina wang i'm also not a south african youtuber i love her for her style as well oh my gosh the girl the girl is stylish the girl has got tips for days um she could literally put together 40 outfits from like four four items i absolutely love that type of content a person that is able to show you how to turn like a basic everyday item into like a full-on outfit i really enjoy those videos that is the reason why i watch her content the next person i'm gonna mention who is on my top 10 of my favorite youtubers is sine kukuletu or sine underscore kukuletu yes sine underscore kukuletu oh my god where do i start with her she is so authentic she's so relatable she shares so much i absolutely love her content i love her vlogs um i love how everything seems to be planned comma vlogs i okay, it's planned but footy again not overly planned so it's relatable in a way i love how she shares um money tips um on her videos i thoroughly enjoy those i love also um i used to love the videos that she does yeah, my luxury on a budget i love those videos and now because i've been watching her videos for so long she used to do a lot of those luxury on a budget and to see her grow into this like huge youtuber for me she's a she's a big youtuber um that can now afford not to buy the, the the goods on on a budget and can actually walk into an lv store and buy that that is absolutely amazing very inspiring i absolutely love her content she is so true to herself she's so relatable man i love her content i love 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 Ustine Goku. Okay, the next YouTuber I'm going to mention is Lisa Victor. Now, this one is a new one that I've recently started watching. Um, and the main reason why I started watching her content is because of the quality of her videos. One thing about her videos, guys, she's a fairly new YouTuber. I think she's from Nigeria, if I'm not mistaken. But the quality of her videos is top tip, whether she's doing hair reviews, whether she's doing vlogs, but her quality is always on par. I absolutely enjoy watching I'm a video of Abadu where the quality is always just so clean. That's why I enjoy her videos. Absolutely love them as well. 
The next YouTuber I'm going to mention is Gamo Leslie. Um, or Gamo, I was also just recently, a couple of months ago, introduced to her channel through Usei Tati's channel. Um, and she's just likable. I don't know. There's just something about her. She's just a likable person. Um, Oya Tandega, she's relatable. Um, you, you can sort of listen to her. that She's that type of person. And I enjoy her vlogs so much because I feel like good thing isn't as in is things that i relate to isn't that she talks about or things that i can relate to so that is why i enjoy her vlogs and um she's recently been doing a lot of hair videos i enjoy watching hair videos guys one thing about me goba i'm not a pro yet in installing and all that i will always just watch hair videos look at how to style new hair look at how to style old wigs look at how to wash wigs i enjoy those type of videos so i also enjoy the hair content from okamu as well Okay, so my next YouTuber that I'm going to mention is Gina B. Now, I got inspired by her via TikTok. Um, I used to watch um, a lot of videos on TikTok and she seemed to just pop up on my TikTok quite a lot, particularly, I think, about three months ago when she went on her brand trip with, is it Tot, is it Tot or something like that? Some brand literally flew her out and... I was enjoying the vlogs that I was seeing on TikTok and so I decided to follow her on YouTube only to find that she's got such an amazing um, account on YouTube. Um, she does a lot of vlogs, she talks a lot about God as well and that is just relatable content um, to me. So I enjoy her content, the quality of her uh, videos is also very very good. So yeah, I enjoy her content but it's like only been three months of me watching her um, but yeah, I really do enjoy her content as well. And then my last one out of my top 10 is Uzoe Mbogazi. Now with Uzoe, um, I feel like she's more like me for some reason. She is more like me. Um, she's a person that doesn't go out a lot. Um, she's a person that is mainly indoors and most of her vlogs are indoors. And I feel that that is very relatable, especially if you are a person really that doesn't go out a lot like myself. So her content, I feel that even though she's not doing a lot, it's still so relatable. Usain Lini, she's doing her makeup videos on TikTok. She's eating. She's doing that. That to me is re relatable. So I enjoy watching her content quite a lot. Um, yeah. So Jay, all relatable. Um, watching her doing her everyday thing for me is something that I enjoy doing. So yeah, I enjoy her content a lot. I know it's always supposed. No, 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 no. I know it's only supposed to be my top 10, but I just mentioned one person earlier and I realized that I didn't add her on the list and that is Utadi, Usei Tadi. I enjoy her content quite a bit. She's grown a lot on um, YouTube as well. I've enjoyed watching her grow and um, I like the fact that she um, brings in Umartin into her vlogs. Umartin is Hamazi from a long time ago and he was a bit shy back then but now we realize Uguti he's just a person on Jalo Fele and yeah I enjoy that type of content or relationship goalsy or vlogging and all that. I really enjoy Tadi's channel as well. So guys those are my top 10 or 11 uh, favorite YouTubers and why I watch them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to super thanks me down below and watch the ads so that we can make money for this camera okay anyway i will see you guys tomorrow duh